Now, we all know that agriculture is changing. And there's a strong recognition that the presence of women in agriculture is increasing significantly. Today, women dominate gra as graduates from agricultural facilities, from schools, colleges, universities, and ag programs. And this creates an, an amazingly diverse talent pool, and it creates new opportunities. We have an opportunity to prove ourselves, to earn leadership positions based on talent, skill, hard work, merit. Women have always played a vital role in the family farm. So why would it be any different in any other section within the agricultural system? We are women who are powerful and free. We are talented, we are intelligent, we are determined, and ultimately, we are victors, not victims. We choose not to be offended by the uninformed comments, the ignorant actions of those who wish to hold us back, whether it be men or, as a point was made earlier, even women. Growing up on a farm with a rebel mom and a get-her-done father, I was encouraged to be innovative and to pursue big dreams. I learned the importance of working hard, of collaborating with others, and of taking calculated risks in order to achieve positive end. I was raised with the understanding that I had the responsibility to give back to my community, to make it great. It wasn't someone else's job to do it for me. No matter my age, my income, or my experience, I had something great to offer. In order to achieve the greatest level of success possible, we must know who we are. To truly thrive, we must have an understanding of our identity, our value, our worth, apart from the job, apart from the role, apart from the accolades. Before pursuing positions of leadership or advancement, we must also know our why. What is our motivation? As a country, we have an opportunity to become a world superpower in egg. And more and more, we need to position ourselves to take up this mantle. As we move forward, women pl must play a central role. We can't, we can't afford to pit one gender against another on this journey, nor can we put one group or one age demographic against another on this journey. Instead, we must focus on doing the journey together in collaboration. The question is, what's your greatest joy? Whose success are you invested in? As we pursue growth and advancement, let us be honest with who we are. Let us evaluate our why. Let us pledge to bridging generations, to letting the next one be on our shoulders, to getting excited about their success. Let us commit to building team and honoring those who serve our advancement. We are powerful and we are free. We are not victims, we are victors, and the world is ours to impact. We are women, you need to change the world.